Hey everybody, I promised you I would do this video on Johnny Depp. And the one thing I really see that is missing from his life that will transform him. I have to tell you that, you know, one of the things that happens with drugs and alcohol, and I think a lot of people already know this, but especially with Johnny Depp, I know I've told you the story, but my father adored him. My dad was an actor and he was always like, I think it was kind of a sick fascination if I'm going to be honest. But <laughs> the thing is, is that Papa, I remember when 21 Jump Street was on and I, sorry, I wasn't a fan. I didn't know him, but I remember my dad often saying, you got to watch this kid. I'm like, who, what are you talking about? He said, this kid, Depp, Depp. And I'm like, who's that? And he said, he's, a, he's this actor. And I go, okay, because my father, an actor, and he said, no, no, Tori, he's got it. He's the it. He's the it guy. And I go, okay. And I was always teasing him. And I had a great dad. And he said, no, I want you to get that this kid has got it. There's something extremely special about him. And there's something very important about him. Now, in the work I do at this point in my life, I do much more much more work about bringing people to their peace, their inner peace. And I would say a lot of that has to do with intuitive work. That said, this video, I promised you, I would talk about the one thing that Johnny Depp needs to do to transform his life. And it was the one thing he said that I heard during the trial that went made me go, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I went, mm -hmm. I wrote some stuff that I wanted to share with you. You know, one of the things that I think Johnny Depp has done very well is I think he really does have a handle around that he married his mother and that this was him trying to work that out. There's a lot more to that, but this video is really about the one thing that he can do to find peace and ultimately find that incredible gift of sobriety and become an incredible artist 20 times over. And the other reason he needs to do this, to be really honest with you, is I just looked at his son, Jack. I mean, I when I say looked at him, I can look at people and I can see their stuff going on. And Jack will have trouble down the road. He will have some difficulty, emotional, you know, but I think that, I do think that Johnny Depp can help him. It's his dad, right? So I wrote down, do you find that knowing your answers isn't bringing you peace? I think a lot of times people think they're going to find peace when they have the answer. But the problem with finding an answer is sometimes it only leads to another question. And when we look at things that way, we can step back and say, oh, there's another piece to this. And I wrote this down and I said, it took me many years to conclude that figuring things out, the why, knowing what happened to me, never brought me a truly satisfying why. Why? Why? is this and i think that sometimes we give that up you know we surrender we go you know what i don't need to know and i want to just say this johnny depp is an incredible father he has just incredible children even though i did mention this about jack i want to be clear um you know i think that people who find those easy answers they are the people who kind of end up in Sleepy Hollow. And those are the people who, like Ichabod Crane at the end, he said, what if I lived my life wrong? Wow. So I want to talk about that emptiness that I see in Johnny Depp. And I see it not as a bad thing, because I think part of being an actor is having that ability to bring into yourself the, the metamorphosis. There's this thing that I mean, if you've seen any of his work, and I did later, I'm sorry, I never saw 21 Jump Street. I think I should watch it though, because my father always loved it. But, you know, my father saw that at a very young age in him. And I think that he probably related to the troubled childhood. But when you, when you look at something like Black Moss and you look at it and go, this guy is incredible. Like, how did he morph that? How did he, and he molds energetically like clay. And part of that is when you've been through so much abuse, it's almost like your soul has, has, is used to leaving your body. It's like having an outer body experience. And so as a result, your energy can come in and you can become something else. And I think if I look back, you know, in, for my father, the happiest times were when he was working. So it makes perfect sense that 
Johnny Depp would have like this incredible experience as an actor and he would do so many films. But let's back up. What's the one thing he said that hit me? Did you listen to what he talked about when he talked about his work? When they said, well, what do you think of pirates? He said, I've never seen my work. I don't, I've done, it's done, I walk away. And what I wanna tell you in this moment is that that is a vital piece missing energetically for Johnny Depp, because you can never understand or comprehend your full value to people until you look at your work. And I have to tell you this because I, I recognized it. Looking at him, I see this kindred spirit of, oh, I get it, that I couldn't look at my writing for years. And then people would read something back that I wrote and I went, I wrote that? <laughs> I wrote that, really? And then I started picking up my books and I'd reread them as if I was reading something for the first time. Now, there's an important piece to this. And the reason I say this is when you don't know the value you bring to others, you don't know your own value. And it's almost like you're creating before you run out of space, before you run out of time. And when you have that emptiness, you're always looking to fill it. And the filling, believe me, hello, I know from my drinking, you know, when I drank, it was like, there's never enough. There was never enough anything. It's like, more is better. <laughs> and, and I understand that needing to fill something up because there's a, a thirst that's never quenched. There's a feeling of, it's like his connection. And you watched it when you watched his connection to Amber, there's that feeling of like, he really did want to save his mother. But the reality is that he has not yet saved himself. And I say this because look at this man, everyone who works with him works with him multiple years. Okay. They adore him. They are dedicated to him. They find him to be one of the most kind, wonderful people. But this is a man that has never looked at his own work. And I don't care what anybody says. The thing is, is that he said that when he was reading to his children, he really wished he had, there was a movie where adults and children could join together. And it was something he'd want his children to see. And he needs to go see Pirates. He needs to see the first, the second. I don't know how many there are. I only saw the first. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but he needs to see who he is to other people. Because you see, you, you can't get a full, a full rounded idea of who you are if you're only feeding off what other people do. So like, his fans are just dying on this, this life he's living where he's, you know, they're just adoring him, but inside him, he doesn't, there's not that. And I know that, you know, probably fight with me on this, but I want to say that I think he's an incredible man. I think he has come so far and I think he's worked through so much. And I think that's really his missing piece that I think when he sits down and I really feel it needs to be from the beginning, I think he needs to sit down and I think he needs to watch his very first project, his second, his third. I think he needs to watch 21 Jump Street. I think he needs to watch the work he did because I think he's gonna find out who he is by remembering those time periods in his life and the moments when he was working and something shifted in him. There was something that was healed every time you do a brilliant scene or, you know, I used to run lines with my dad and, and, you know, every time there's that moment when that connection happens for an actor and for me as a writer, you know, when you have that connection to that brilliance, to that moment, it's just, it fills you with light. And what happens is it becomes an addiction and then you're going back to it again and again. But if you can look at it and you can see who you are, in other words, what have you created? You know, he's leaving a legacy that he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what his legacy is. And I think that once he does, and I'm gonna make a, an intuitive guess here, maybe a little more than guess, you know, that kind of thing. This is a little woo now, guys. What I feel about Johnny Depp is that when he starts to put back in the things that he gave out, meaning those moments when, I mean, come on, 
you know, 21 Jump Street, like, wow, Nicolas Cage said, go to meet my agent. These are the things that came in a natural flow. There's a rhythm to all work. And I really believe, I mean, Johnny said it himself. I don't know, I mean, Johnny, you know, Johnny said it himself that when he, his music was what he loved and there's a rhythm to acting. There's a rhythm to his work. And I think the songs that he energetically has sung to people, the things he's brought to life for others, the joy he's brought, he needs to see that. You know, I remember once, this is a long time ago, I was on a plane and I look over and there's a woman reading one of my books and I went, okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> so I couldn't help myself. I, those days I didn't put my name, I didn't put my picture on any book. I was too, whatever. Anyway, I, I looked at them and said, hey, uh, how's the book? She, I just, you know, she, oh, oh, this is really good. Check this. I go, well, what do you like the most? And she, oh, check. And she starts reading it to me. And what came to me is that something I wrote, something I said, created a, a transformation in another person. But you see, I didn't see it. She did. She saw it. And the reason I feel it's important for Johnny Depp to watch his movies is because, sorry, water, mm, is because when he watches his movies, even one, it's going to start to transform him and he's going to begin to bring in that white light and just fill. It's going to fill. And I, I have to tell you, I think his, I think his greatest work is yet to be. I really believe that because I believe that this court case is there to change lives. You know, I'm getting truth bumps, I get goosebumps, I call them truth bumps. When I see the, the exacting, the, the person he is, he's, he is the it guy. You heard me say this about my dad, that he really thought Depp was the it. And before he died, my father, I remember he took my wrist and he said, you know, I, I'm convinced I survived the war so that you could be here. And that's the most incredible thing a father can tell you. I mean, I think that having a great father is everything. And I think that women who have great dads, they're just blessed. I mean, people have two parents are blessed, but I think that, you know, you always have to look at how someone feels about the parent of the opposite sex. If you're interested in them, always like, oh, oh so what's your relationship like with your father or mother or whatever? That's going to tell you everything you need to know. And I think the tragedy here is that Johnny Depp was dedicated to a mother that couldn't love herself. And so he wanted to love her enough so she could feel love. And now that she's gone, there is that incredible chasm. So of course, in that vacancy, we get Amber coming in, you know, energetically into his life. And so what I see now is that there is a moment when you can honor that parent you loved so much, you know, and I really feel he loved his mother. I, I really do. And it's, it's very painful to love somebody that doesn't love you back. And it's not because they don't love you. It's because they're incapable of it. It's kind of, you know, it's like asking my dog to like go to the grocery store and go shopping. It's just like, what? you know, maybe he could, I don't know. But anyway, I think that when I say all this to you about Johnny Depp, I feel that his it is yet to come. And I remember that my dad said that to me and I thought, you know, I know that, but I don't know what it is. Like my father went into the Battle of the Bulge on my birthday, December 19th. Now I was born many years later, just in case you're wondering and trying to do the math. Okay. So my father jumped on D-Day and he swore to himself one night during horrible shelling in the bulge that he would, if he made it out alive, he was going to do what he loved for the rest of his life, which was to become a theater actor. And he did. And I think that there is something about understanding the rhythm of the body of his work that will transform Johnny Depp. And I think that that ache inside, that ache that he didn't love his mother enough to save her, 
I don't think that's something he's going to walk around and say, and I don't even think it's something that perhaps is in his consciousness in the front, but I want to say that I think it'll transform his life. And I also think it will heal his son. I feel there's, there's some unrest there and I don't know what it is. I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't like to, I, I really don't like to read children. I really don't. And I, I, I know he's not a child, but it's, this is, I'm talking about Johnny Depp and I feel like he, he was an incredible son. And I feel like he needs to know that, 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 you know, when someone doesn't want to be here, it's very painful and it's hard to love somebody that's incapable of loving you back. And I want to say that that's a chapter that needs to close for him. And I want to really allow him in particularly in this conversation to, to declare that complete, that no matter what Amber's complete and that he is doing an incredible service for many of us. And I feel that we need to encourage him to see his own work. He needs to see his own value. He needs to see how many people are mesmerized by him. You know, and, and when you have that level of presence, when you have that ability to, to bring people into your world, it's an honor. It's an honor. And, and I feel that he knows that. I feel he does know that. And yet, you know, it's like this, like he's in this, this place. And I feel like he knows what it is. And I feel like he is, I mean, you know, that the way literature is and the way life is and the way all of those things come together. I think that, that the greatest love that he's going to find is his. And I really want that for him because I remember my father saying, this, this guy has it and I want him to have it. I want him to be that example for so many men who are suffering, for so many of us who can go to the theater or watch a piece of, of, of history that he creates and, and go, wow, you know, take us from those moments where life is dull, you know? And I used to say when I was, when I was drinking, you know, life is pointy. You need to smooth off the edges a little bit. So I want to say that this invitation for Johnny Depp is that I want you to go watch your movies. Go see one piece of work you've done. And it's going to begin to transform every time you watch something and you go, oh my gosh, I, I am good. I do have this fullness inside. And when you fill yourself up with the joy of what you've been giving others for years, you're going to recognize that it's been in you all along. And there's nothing that's going to stop you from the next, the next thing. And this is his time. The service he's doing for men who are being abused and, and don't speak up is incredible. So I want to just end this by saying, God bless Johnny Depp. I'm very grateful that I have crossed this, I have crossed this path with him where he has a, a mark in my history, you know, and anybody that my dad said has it is good in my book. So I hope that you have taken from this conversation a moment where you can look at your own work, look at your own work and say, wow, oh, that's really good, or it needs more work. That's what I've done. I've looked at my work and gone, oh gosh, I sent that out. <laughs> so we've all done it. And I want to just send, send a prayer for, for those who are suffering at the hand of someone that they loved. And for whatever reason, it, it has turned on them. And I, I really want to see Johnny Depp look at his own work because he said he doesn't watch his work. How can you know the value of what you're creating if you refuse to look at it? So that's my quick, I don't know how long I've been talking. It feel, you know, sometimes I feel like I've been here for three minutes and it's been 30, but I will see you on the next one. I'm going to do a live in the next day or two and you can talk to me. You know, I love to chatter. All right, guys, have a wonderful blessed day and I will see you on the next one.
Bye for now.